Welcome Coyote fans. Um, so as most of you know, if you've tuned into my channel, I um, have been doing this whole Griggs suspension modification. I have the full uh, severe duty torque arm set up in a half roll cage, which is, uh, I figured would add substantially to the back weight of the car. Turns out today I weighed it and <laughs> this is going to be comical. Um, I did add 60 pounds to the back of the car. Um, I also, because of a T5-6 swap and adding my cross member brace to the front engine, added 60 pounds to the front of the car. So it's a complete wash. Um, <laughs> I, I added back the 120 pounds that I saved doing the swap. Um, the only difference is uh, the weight distribution, which I was thinking would be somewhere uh, around 51 49 is really still pretty much pegged at 53 47 so <laughs> I just kind of kind of laugh because those Enki RPF one saved me another 40 pounds otherwise the thing would be bumping up against 3,500 pounds right now um, it is pretty much dead nuts the weight it was before the swap <laughs> I, I, <laughs> yeah it's it's just different weight distribution completely. It was almost 60-40. Uh, it was something like 57 and a half, 42 and a half or something like that before. Um, I'm going to get a blog entry up that describes all this, but I just thought I would share because I, I couldn't believe my eyes that it was the exact weight that the car weighed new. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> what are you going to do, you know? So uh, weight distribution is kind of something I was aiming for 50-50. I, I got to talking with John Griggs and he said, no, you know, he says, you really don't want to go there. You might want to go 51-49 or something a little bit higher. So probably it's not too bad from a handling perspective. I love the way the car drives and I have to say that nothing prepared me for what a difference that uh, John Griggs' uh, setup would do for me. Um, so the Griggs brothers have uh, got a thing going there and if, in my opinion, if you're going to do this swap, you need to, you know, either really spend some serious money money on an IRS setup, or uh, spend some money on uh, Griggs's kit. And in my opinion, uh, for you know making big power, nothing's going to beat a solid rear axle uh, that this car came with. Uh, it's just going to be bulletproof, and you're not going to have axle wind up and all the other issues. Um, so, anyways, thought I'd share uh, my. My weight stats are in. Uh, again, curb weight of my car is 3,460 pounds, which was what it weighed before the swap. I took the exact same scales that I used. Um, the major difference is it's 1,850 over the front axles and 1,610 over the rear. Um, those are those numbers. If you take 60 pounds off each one, are what I had right after the swap with the TR3650 transmission and no bracing. So. <laughs> With the stock <laughs> chassis components, this car was quite terrifying to drive, um, and it, it's kind of not gone that way now. So, hope you're enjoying the ride. Tune in, subscribe. There'll be more. Thanks. Bye.